Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Those that have come back and those that are new, I appreciate you stopping by my channel to see what I'm all about. By the header, you can see that what we're going to be talking about today is Juvian's, Juvia's makeup. Here's one. There's the tube. Eye palettes. So we're going to be doing our face today with this line. So while we're doing that, let's chat. So it's the first of the year. And what is it that everyone does around the first of the year? Everyone decides they're going to get healthy, make some changes, you know, lose weight, get healthy. And that's a wonderful thing. But there's also other areas where we can get healthy. And sometimes we tend to overlook it or not want to talk about it. Sometimes... We don't want to talk about finances, and for whatever reason, I don't know why we don't want to talk about it, but it's very important and vital to our lifestyle, our well-being, our, our livelihood. So right now, I'm putting on Rihanna's Fenty Primer. Yeah, it's important to our livelihood because, believe it or not, a bad credit score... will jeopardize or determine whether or not you even get a job. A lot of people don't realize that. <clears throat> but your credit score is impactful on whether or not you receive a position. So when I say it's vital to our livelihood, that next position you could be trying for, they run your credit score and it's not what they want to see, your resume, and your, your, I don't care how good you interview, they just may pass you up. Just because your score came back below par. So we, we can work on that though. We don't have to stay at that level. We can work on it. So right now, I'm using the Juvian's... What color is this one? Wait a minute now. This one is... So, Uh-oh. San... Sanda... Xander. Well, let's see how this one looks. I'm just going to put a little on. Yeah, so, as I was saying, we can change that. And depending on how frequently we even look at our score, will determine how much work is really needed. So, the first thing you want to do is contact the three major credit bureaus and that would be Equifax, Experion, and TransUnion. The reason why you want to contact all three because even though one will show one number the next one might show something totally different a totally different number so you want to get all three and evaluate all three and say hmm what is that that's really on there okay now I'm using the tube which this color is Hmm. I'll list all the products I'm using at the bottom. Because right now, I can't even make out what this is. It's okay, though. I'll give it to you before it's over. If you go down to the bottom of my page, you'll see all the products that I listed, um, that I used here, will be listed. Okay. So, in doing so, when you get your scores, you review them. And I mean review them thoroughly. Some stuff you may remember or some stuff you may have did and some stuff you may not have done. Either way, it's important to see what's listed out there under your social. Okay. And we're just going to blend that in. And as you begin to contact these places, especially if you see stuff on there that doesn't really seem to make sense or you never did, you contact, you put a circle around each one. 
Let's start with that. And you contact them, the credit bureau, and the location or business that's saying that you have delinquent credit with them or an unpaid bill or you're slow to pay or whatever the case may be. Because just because you pay your bills, if you don't pay them timely, that can work against you too. This is actually blending in really nice. <laughs> I like this. So, once you do that, you contact each one and say, listen, um, I'm looking at my credit score and it seems as though you still have me with an outstanding balance on, like for instance, this is what happened to me many moons ago. <laughs> I did my credit score because, you know, you have to check it. You just have to look to see what's going on out there. And it had a outstanding balance with with my children's dentist. Okay? I'm like, what? I always pay before I leave the office. So how I have an outstanding payment with them? But if I had never contacted or, or ran my credit score and got the information from all